What's going on YouTube? We are going to be reviewing the iX Tech microphone boom arm. It's basically like a blue compass knockoff. It's 80 bucks instead of 100, but we're gonna dive into the features and we'll go over why I'm actually gonna return it. That'll be at the end. Let's get into it. Well, okay, so the features are pretty standard. You have this little metal piece out here where you can mount the 3 8 or the 5 8 adapter. It'll go up and down since you want it to have some gap right here, so you can easily do this if you need to move it around. Sometimes if you're grabbing the mic, it's just better. And then you tighten it and then stays in place a little better, but you can still move it pretty loosely. This black piece came with my HyperX, which is the mount adapter. Just FYI, this, this black piece I'm touching does not come with the boom arm. Here is the joint. You can loosen it. You just saw it went limp. It won't hold now. But we'll tighten it. And it'll be fine. It's actually pretty stiff. It's hard to do with one hand. Oops. So, gotta move it this way. You can see, you kind of have to mess with the angles for however you want to set it up. The joint is plastic. This is old plastic. These tube pieces feel like they're metal or aluminum. Just FYI for build quality, because it says it's like steel or something like that. I don't know if this is actually steel. Here's the other joint. And then all the way in the bottom, here's the last joint. And there's some cable management. You'll see there's like this scoop. These are little plastic things that pop off. They're pretty sweet. I honestly really like them. They're super easy to use. Great for the USB. There's three on top. And there's three on the back. And there's this one. This one pops loose quite a bit. And so there's three on the back. This piece fully rotates. Ooh, I just hit my phone. But so it actually hit the the monitor. But you can you can move it all the way around. It never stops. You can just keep twisting it. And the way that this part works is you have the tension screw right here. And I have it as loose as possible. And then it's just this metal rod. And you just stick it in that. That's all it is. Really simple. When the actual mount is this. Super easy. You just twist it. It tightens. Stays on your desk. Very, very straightforward. It's a very simple product. And then you can change the angles. So this is as far down as this joint will go. This is as far back as this bottom one will go. You can move it out, which I'm doing now. So let's see if we can get this. That's pretty far if you needed it. It can straighten all the way out. I don't have the tension in the middle arm tight enough for it to hold. Oh no, it's fine. So there it is. That's as far forward as it can go. Let me rearrange this. Uh, there we go. It's hard to do with one hand again. And then this piece can go all the way up and all the way down. So like it can go that far back. And this won't work all that well because the microphone isn't really set up to do this. I don't know, maybe we can do it. Here we go. Very hard to do with one hand. All right. And so that's as far high up as it'll go. So if you want to have it upside down, you can do that. And that is all there is to it for this product. I mean, microphone arm is pretty, pretty simple. The conclusion for this is the iX Tech boom arm, I think is pretty good. I paid $69.99 for it. And now it's $79.99. The blue compass is usually $99.99. And this is in essence is like a clone of it. So I think saving the 30 bucks for me made sense if I was gonna keep this. 20 bucks, I don't know. If you wanna save 20 bucks, I'm assuming they're very, very similar. And then Gator Frameworks I've never had and I know they're around 130 and they look different. So if, if you're looking at this versus like a Gator Frameworks or a Blue Compass, this is a contender. Overall, the product does what it needs to do. It holds my microphone up. I don't have like a lot of issues with it not being able to support the weight or anything, which I've read some of the cheaper, like $20, $30, $40 ones have those issues. That doesn't happen on this one. 
However, I mentioned I'm going to return it. And the reason why I'm going to return it is because the use case does not make sense for me. I play games casually. I do these videos, but I use like lapel mics and voiceovers when I use this thing. I don't webcam myself very often. So if you're like me, there just isn't much of a point to have this. It just seems like a waste of money and a waste of space to me. It looks fine, but in terms of like the setup, I actually think it's pretty ugly and takes up a lot of room. Not in aesthetics necessarily, but just overall like feel of my desk because it's very wide. You'll see it's about my forearm, a little longer if you include the microphone, and it's just wide. And when I am here doing things and have this right here near me, sometimes it actually, like if I pull this out, this, this is now in my field of view. And so if you have different monitors, I could see it working. But like this is like my eyeballs right here and it also I can't see this part of my screen so it has to sit over here and then it's like in my shoulder space I, I hope you get what I mean just that's something I didn't think about and I know there's ways to mount it differently but I messed with it mounting back there on my right on the back right and none of them really fit very well and it still kind of didn't look right because even when I had the microphone up here it was distracting to me and and that's the main reason I'm returning it if you are a streamer and you want to show the microphone or you take videos where you want like the microphone like here or if you do like podcasts or maybe interviews boom arms make a lot of sense but for the average person I would say these are pretty pointless I got caught up in like oh man I want my microphone to look so cool and it, it didn't really work out that way. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about buying a boom arm. They take up a lot of space. And for me, it's just not worth it. I would rather just have the little metal stand it comes with. This gets the job done. And it's a lot more like inconspicuous. It's smaller, more portable. And a lot of these microphones always come with that type of stand. And the other piece is I thought it would add some sound suppression, and it did not. Uh, people could still hear my TV, which is just like 10 feet that way, five feet that way, and people could still hear my keyboard clacks because unless you're using like Zoom or Discord and using the sound suppression, like having it elevated doesn't do anything, and I was hoping it would do something, but no, it's basically identical from the mic tests I've done in Discord playing games with friends. So I hope that this video helped you, you know, decide if you want to buy this or if you want to buy a boom arm at all. And if it did, please like and subscribe. Appreciate you viewing the channel and this video in particular. And really just appreciate all the support, comments, likes, and everything on all of my videos. And that's it. It's Tech Bro Joe. Peace out.